how you doing, Daryl? Junior, the actual owner, is actually on my Facebook Live. Uh, gospel sound was very prevalent back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and began to morph in the 90s to a more contemporary sound. So if anyone can, I think, give you a, an interpretation of how this pack has been molded and put together by this young man, I like to think I can. I have older ears, but I have sensitive ears, and I know when I can feel, especially electronically. I'm, I was raised on a, on a Steinway uh, six-foot grand piano and on a Hammond B3, which was serviced by my father. So I know how a Hammond sound should be because of the softwares that I use. I use the only the best ones. And now I am giving this software my trial run. As I say, there are some features on this software that uh, I'm going to take a look at. I'm not uh, accustomed to layering sounds. I love to be able to hear a piano sound like a piano, but now to see that I can morph a different sound that may be congruent to the style of music that is being played today. So I am open for any comments, any concerns that you may have while I'm doing this. Um, just looking to see how it looks on my iPad because I'm monitoring this page. I've shared it with two, two channels, my own uh, Facebook group, Sound of Joy Music group, and with the Musicians Helping Musicians group, because I want you guys to get a look at how an OG looks at new, a new toy, and I'll put it like that. So, without further ado, let me go back, because my first try at this, I messed it up. I messed it up. I didn't have it correctly set up, but now it is correctly set up. So let's go back to what it should look like when it's been installed properly. So if you see this page, never mind my face in that spot right there. That's the one place where I can put myself where there'll, there'll be nothing there. This is the page you should see once you've got the software loaded correctly. And yes, you must have certain things in place. You must have contact six. Uh, that is not a free download. If you've got the player, it won't work. Uh, fortunately, I've been a contact user since they first came out, so I had upgrades that I had done in the past. When I first tried to install this software, I had Contact 5, which was not the version that would run this, this particular software. So I had to upgrade, upgrade to Contact 6. It only cost me $99 because I had, I was, I've been a loyal customer, and so it's nice to be able to support a product and they give you a discounted price but I believe if you were to go get contact six now as a standalone product you're up around three hundred ninety nine dollars unless they're running a special it's always good to check out check back at that page at um, I believe it's native instruments and see if they're running a special which you may be able to get it discounted so that you can load this software so you want to hear what it sounds like this is the page you should see when everything is loaded in correctly so and there were some presets which i'm now going to be able to share with you which i couldn't see the first time because i did not load it correctly thanks to daryl wise jr who helped walk me through the one misstep i made in putting it together this is what should drop down and you should be able to see all of these different pre-programmed setups so that you don't have to, like I would probably do, get lost in the sauce trying to figure out how to make it sound like this, how to make it sound like that. These are all of the setup. Now, I've seen the other uh, demos of this uh, of this software done by other. There we go. Let me see that one come up. Done by other tremendous musicians, but as often as I always say, they sound like they do. I sound like I do. I'm from a different era. I'm from that big band, you know, brash, soft area, classical soft. And that's what I'm going to be putting through the paces. So let's go to, let's see. We'll go through what's in this grouping right here. And uh, let's go to Bright Gospel Grand, because I love the grand piano sound. Now, because I have a, 
I want an iMac 2015, but it's got 32 gigabytes and a one terabyte drive, so it is pretty quick. Let's see what the, and you should be able to hear this coming through the software through OBS so that you get the most cleanest sound possible. Let's hear the lows, because that's where I love to always hear a grand piano sound at. A few notes there. This is a and it's a this is the bright gospel grand. So without infringing on somebody's trademark copyright, we'll do the presence of the Lord is here, because that used a very bright grand. just one patch we're just using one patch of it now we're not using um it's not layered with any other sounds that sounds very fat again I'm trying to avoid getting some uncopyright uh, let's see Yes, yes, yes. For a bright, grand piano sound, I think I would love to see this in one of my projects because I like that deep sound here. get a chance to go through all of these sounds I'm looking for any comments that may come up if you have any questions let me know oh welcome Annette let me know how it's sounding to you because again I am I am uh, patching this software from contact through a virtual amplifier two-channel stereo amplifier through OBS so if it's not sounding clean uh, let me know I'll, I'll be watching all right let's try Right grand sounds excellent, very excellent. Let's see, we got, um, again, I'm looking for the, the piano sounds, the pianos and LPs. Uh, let's try the old one, the first one. Again, it loads very quick on my system. <laughs> 